John Mashey from the Veterans Healing Farm. Uh, today's vlog, we're going to do a little bit of a tour. I figured I'd just show you guys around, uh, give you some updates, and point out some different things that we have got going on right now, some things we've just planted, some things that we're planting. So behind me is our garden. You can see um, this is our bigger garden. It's about 380 feet, and um, it's broken up into six beds. Um, we've got drip tape, and we've got moringa interplanted in all of every other row. So every other row in this garden is moringa. And the moringa tree row also has sunflowers and cilantro. And so in a couple of months, this place is gonna look really cool. The sunflowers were from Johnny's and a majority of them were kind of red and white and strawberry colored. And the moringa, for those who don't know, is a tropical tree. It's the most nutriently dense food on the planet. And it can be dried, powdered, and turned into a shelf stable product and something we're really excited about. Behind me are, uh, this row in particular is peppers. Uh, this is our intern Kevin from Blue Ridge Community College. Very small as you can tell. Where are we at? Yeah, he's a little guy. Uh, but no, the, these peppers were from um, Carolyn Edmondson, Randy and Carolyn Edmondson's produce. Uh, the seed stock came from Johnny's and uh, they put them in their greenhouse for us. And they also did our eggplant, which is on this row along with some Summer squash, there's uh, right here, you can't really see, but that's cucumbers. And then there's also some uh, lettuce on the far end. So there's a lot of plants in this garden and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, inside each row on the walkways are the wood chips and then there's compost on the top. Um, so once everything gets stabilized, we shouldn't have very much weeding uh, this summer. It's also gonna reduce our irrigation needs and we've got drip irrigation. Uh, the drip irrigation is set up on this this is an IBC and there's actually a creek down here so the creek comes off the mountain and it's just beautiful uh, this creek is very clean water it goes into an IBC and we're gonna have I have plans for using a solar panel that we got from FLS energy to pump a DC powered water pump in which will go into a, the IBC which is uh, elevated and drip irrigation doesn't need high PSI, so um, we should be able to water the garden. I have it on a three zone system and it'll be watered basically off of gravity. So this is the medicinal herb garden. Uh, we've got lots of different herbs in it. Uh, Dr. Lulu is in charge, she's a squad leader, she's a naturopath, and we're gonna be doing all sorts of seminars and workshops on making teas and tinctures and salves and just teaching veterans how to use the herbs to make medicine. And in the center here is a keyhole garden. Uh, you can see the sculpture, beautiful piece of sculpture from the Blue Ridge Community College art program. And uh, we just have a strong emphasis on aesthetic beauty. I think the idea of proper nutrition, you know, the, the, the produce feeds the physical body where the aesthetic is more kind of spiritual. It brings that beauty back into people's lives. This, this keyhole here is a technique in which is used a lot in Africa in other dry areas, it's uh, great for water retention. And typically the compost bend is in the center of the keyhole. And in our situation, we've made it to where you can actually access it. And so if you see this area here opens and the compost comes right out. Oh, let me just throw it. So this, this keyhole garden actually has a perforated pipe in it. So this is actually a Hugo culture mound. There's four feet deep pit that was dug and there were logs that were buried. And the logs, as they decompose, uh, the Hugo culture method provides all sorts of, just a great place for biology to foster. Also the logs as they rot, uh, they absorb water. So they act almost as a sponge. And so it requires very little irrigation. The perforated tube that we have, it actually goes down into the Hugo culture bed down at the base and it circles around and it comes into this compost bin and it makes it so that the soil or the, the compost doesn't go anaerobic. Anaerobic is when you don't have enough oxygen. And so if you ever smell a putrid smell, it's a good si signal or sign that you probably have some pathogens going on. It's not a good environment and it obviously it smells horrible. So that's the first thing to pick up on. And you need to have oxygen in your compost for it to be a aerobic conditions and so this allows us to keep it aerobic and it also the bin is uh, got slits in it so it's leaching into the bed 
and providing the plants in the bed with all sorts of nutrients. Behind me here is potatoes, and then there's actually raspberries. We have four different varieties, uh, an early red, a mid-season red, a yellow raspberry, and a purple raspberry. So here's our peach trees. We have pawpaw, we have blueberries that are interplanted with them, some figs, this is a pear tree, and there's some apples, some pecans. Uh, we've tried to anticipate the height, and what we're trying to create is something in which is essentially layered, and so you've got various uh, heights going on, and then inside, around each tree, uh, this is called comfrey, and it's a, a bioaccumulator, and so you chop and drop it. Uh, it adds nutrients, it has a, a deep tap root that's pulling up all sorts of minerals. It's called guild planting. It, it essentially is kind of symbiotic with the trees. And then behind me here is our hops. We've talked a little bit about these in previous vlogs, I won't go into them, but we'll definitely be doing some updates and show you guys as they start to climb. Uh, they can climb up to a foot a day, and so it's super impressive. And really, they're just magical. I mean, looking at the, the trellis, people often say, well, what's that over there? I say, well, that's where we uh, take off our clothes and, and dance around, but I don't know if that joke goes very well. I'm, I'm not very witty sometimes. I, I always need to work on that. But anyways, here are our tomatoes. Uh, these are grafted tomatoes and we have multiple plantings. Uh, this is one plant. In total, I think we have about 140 tomatoes. Over here are our asparagus. We have these pots that have a basil and sunflower and uh, tomato planting in them. And here is our flower garden. We also have a lot of tomatoes and herbs and uh, many other things. So thank you guys for checking it out and definitely I'll be continuing to post more and uh, more updates, more tours and show you guys as things continue to progress. Take care. Yesterday